and welcome back to my channel. My name's Abby. If you're new, welcome. Thank you so, so much for clicking on today's video. So today I'm going to be showing you some of the things that I got from Pets at Home for my rats and for my hamsters. So if you're interested to see, just keep watching and don't forget to give the video a like down below because it helps me out so much. Okay, so very quickly I do want to go through what the general experience was like going to Pets at Home because I haven't been shopping due to the pandemic. I've been really avoiding going out of the house and going into shops wherever physically possible. This is I think the second time that I have actually been in a shop since March so I have literally not been going in store at all. Anything that I've been getting up to now I've been getting online so it was a big deal for me personally to actually go into the shop as you go in there is hand sanitizer and wipes to wipe down your shopping basket or trolley I didn't get a basket or a trolley or anything and obviously you wear your face mask to go in the shop they had a perspex shield in front of the cashiers and there's also like spots on the ground for where you have to stand for social distancing there wasn't a one-way system or anything like that but it was very quiet my pets at home does tend to be quiet the other thing is that my pets at home never sells animals but they do have an adoption center and the adoption center was closed due to covid i'm not going to lie to you i was slightly disappointed that the adoption center was closed just selfishly i love to peep in at like if there's some guinea pigs or rabbits or something i usually love to peep in and they didn't have any animals which it doesn't really matter i wasn't gonna get anything but i just love to have a peep but that was actually shut on to the things that i bought from pets at home it definitely wasn't the most successful shop that i've ever done from there but i had sold a spare cage i had so i had like money in cash and i needed to get a few bits so that's why i ended up going to pets at home so i actually got the pets at home hamster muesli i used to buy the harry hamsters muesli because i thought that it was better getting the brand version of the food i thought that this would be like a rubbish like cheaper version but actually it turns out that the harry hamster ham hamster food mix is actually worse than this this isn't all i give my hamsters i do give them extra bits as well but this is like the staple in their diet i giving them a muesli so i got this i also wanted to buy some treats that the rats and the hamsters could eat obviously these are treats like they're not to have in large quantities quantities or too often but I did get them some niblots so I got these berry niblots and I also got some apple niblots and the reason why I got these is like I said because the rats and the hamsters can have them so that's really handy for me because whenever I open a treat they all come particularly in the evening I'll have four rats staring at me and two hamsters like where's my treat so it's really handy to have something that they all can have after getting the food and the treats which were the main reason why I actually went in I wanted to see if there was any chews which were particularly cute or anything that was new and the normal section was kind of disappointing they kind of just had the same old stuff that they always always have and it had before the pandemic so there wasn't very much new stuff but the new section that they did have was actually at the end of an aisle and that was so cute that was like a summer theme so there was things that were watermelons there was a lot of vegetable themed things so there was like a celery chew or something and there was a broccoli hide and an avocado chew and they were really cute I actually really liked the broccoli hide I just thought that was so funny but I would say that the things like that from pets at home can be a bit on the pricey side especially if you don't need them but I did get one thing which I absolutely love and that is this garland I thought this was so cute 
cute. How cute is this gonna look in the cage? I've only got one of these and I'm going to give it to Peach because in any of the other cages, I think it would last about five seconds, but Peach is a lot better at not breaking things. I gave her a lollipop chew, which is on a string like this, and she just nibbles the end of the lollipop stick. So I'm hoping that she'll do that, like nibble on the watermelons and not nibble the string. Whereas the rats and the hamsters go straight for anything on a string and pull the whole thing down. So anyway, I got this to go in Peach's cage. I thought that was so cute. And yeah, that's just gonna really add a nice bit of color in a cage and a bit of girliness. I didn't end up getting anything for my other hamster petal, but I do have a big stockpile of hamster chews and things that I had got from Amazon not too long ago. But for the rats, I wanted to get a few extra bits. So I have finally got a lava ledge, and I think these are either £6.50 or £6.99. So I only actually got one, but I did get it in pink. And my plan is to get a few of these, so maybe get Get two more so they can be like steps going up the side of the cage. These are supposed to be really good to wear down your rat's nails. After I had to have Peach's nails clipped the other day, I kind of just want to make sure that none of my animals need that doing because it's hard work with my hands to try to hold her down to cut her nails. Obviously, if you saw my video, the vet ended up doing it in the end, but I don't want the rat's nails to get overgrown as well. So these are really good to wear down their nails so I got that in pink and then the last final thing that I got for them was this toy so what it is is this block of wood with this seagrass kind of rope around it and then it's got these little carrots and I think that's a corn and they push into these holes and what I thought would be fun for the rats is if I put a treat underneath there and so when they pull out the carrot then there's a treat underneath. I know this will literally take them about five seconds but I just thought it's a different activity that I can give them to do and so that's why I got this. For the rats as well I did have a look in the bird section because I know a lot of people really recommend using parrot products and bird products but unfortunately my pets at home wasn't too good for that. I honestly feel for bird owners because there was like two different kebab chew toys and then a bird cage in a box and then a couple of different bird feeds and that was it. So if you've got birds and live in my area, I bet you have to get everything online. It was not the best. And I also was going to look at the ropes in the dog section, but I actually forgot. So this video has been short and sweet, but that's all the things that I got from Pets at Home. And if you're worried about actually going into a shop, going to Pets at Home for me wasn't the worst experience because my Pets at Home is really quiet. But if I were you, I would just weigh up how is it usually? Is it usually busy? Is it usually quiet? Um, if it's usually busy, then maybe don't go and just order the things online because personally I definitely think that I could have done this shop online instead especially off the Pets at Home's website you're not missing out on anything so if you are worried about it don't force yourself to go in store I would get things online and possibly from some small online businesses as well. I am planning on doing a small online business shop for my pets next month. So if you do know any businesses which you really love, let me know down in the comments and I might check them out and I might include them in that video. So anyway, thank you so, so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe so then it lets you know whenever I post a new video and hopefully I'll see you soon. Bye! Thank you.